Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today we will learn how to get around with Windows 8. Windows 8 is the latest operating system from Microsoft. So let's begin. Windows 8 adds two user interfaces. One is the old Windows 7 user interface and second is the new modern user interface. The modern user interface is also termed as the Metro user interface. Talking about the old Windows 7 user interface, it is exactly similar in Windows 8. The only difference is the new default desktop wallpaper and now we don't have any start button in the taskbar. Rest, everything is same. Talking about the new modern user interface, we have two new sidebars in Windows 8. One is the left sidebar and second is the right sidebar. The left sidebar is used for multitasking purposes if you have extra applications running on your Windows 8. And the right sidebar is known as the charms menu which provides you with tons of functions to improve your productivity on Windows 8. Now we have a new start menu. In order to access this new start menu, we need to take our cursor, that's our mouse cursor, towards the left hand corner bottom. And when we do that, we have a new start menu button. Just click on it and it takes you to the new start menu. This is the new start menu of Windows 8. The new start menu provides a user with all his frequently used applications that he has pinned to his start menu. These applications include the Metro apps and the old Windows 7 user style applications. The Metro apps are specially made for Windows 8. They are full screen and they have a live tile associated with them. These live tiles get constantly updated with the latest news. For example, the finance app, the sports app and the news app. As you guys can see, these three applications are getting constantly updated with the latest news. And the best part is, the user stays updated with what is going on around him. Now if you want to access all the applications installed on your Windows 8, you need to right click on your start menu and click on all apps and you can access all the applications. So that's really good. And if you want to view these applications by a particular alphabet, so you can just take your cursor towards the bottom in the all apps menu and click on the minus button. When you do that, you can access a particular application, all the applications by a particular alphabet or uh, do something more with it. So that is basically the start menu. Now let's talk about the charms menu. The charms menu is on the right sidebar and if you want to access this particular menu, you need to take your mouse cursor towards the right hand corner bottom and then drag it upwards. And once you do that, you get five options that is search, share, start, devices and settings. We also get the date and time and we also get status about our Wi-Fi connection and our battery connection. Now let's have a look at the search button. The search button is pretty neat. It shows up all the apps menu and uh, you can actually search for a particular file in the apps or the settings or the files. So that is pretty much with the search menu of Windows 8. Now let's have a look at the share menu. The share menu allows you to share files with all the Metro applications on your Windows 8. Uh, let's take an example of that. Let's say I am in the book reader. Give me a second. Let's say I'm in the book reader and I have this particular file that is ba basics of Linux. If I want to share this particular file, I can just go to the charms menu and then click on share and it gives me two options that is mail and SkyDrive. If there are any more Metro applications that support this share, uh, share function, I can share these particular files through those applications also. So that is the share button in the charms menu. The start button takes us to the start menu. Then we have the devices button which allows us to access all the devices that are connected to us. And then we have the settings menu which allows us to change the settings of our tiles. Like let's say I want to clear all my tiles, I can do that. Or I could get some help on Windows 8 and also get to toggle a few settings that are available in the taskbar of my Windows 8. If I want to change the PC settings, I can do that too. Now PC settings is different from control panel. So don't confuse yourself with that. Now these settings, the settings button in the charms menu is different for the start menu and for the desktop. So let's have a look at the settings menu in the desktop. So you get to access the control panel if you are on the desktop. 
you get to access the personalization settings and even the PC information. So these are the three extra buttons that you get access to. So that is basically the charms menu and that's how you access it. If you want to multitask on Windows 8, you can easily do it by taking your mouse cursor towards the top left hand corner and then dragging it down. When you do that, you get to open up all the applications that are running. So let's say I want to go to news app and I can go over there. Now let's say if I want to go to the reader app, I can do that. If I want to go to the desktop, I can do that. So that's how you can multitask. And one more amazing thing of Windows 8 is that you can actually run simultaneously two applications. Let's say I want to run the news app and the desktop simultaneously. So I can just drag in the news app and then put it in the corner and I can access this particular news app. If I want to increase the size of the news app, I can do that. So it's that simple and I can just close it by just pushing it. If you want to multitask with the alt tab button, you can do that too. The alt tab button will allow you to access all the applications that are running. Currently there are three applications that are running and that's really cool. So there are two ways to multitask on Windows 8. Let's say you want to close a particular Metro application. Let's say I want to close the reader application. I can just uh, press Alt F4 in the Metro application and the application will close. And if you want to close a particular application, you can even go to the multitasking menu, right click on it and close that particular application. So that's one more way. So that is a pretty much how you can use Windows 8. I will be constantly posting more tutorials and more tricks for Windows 8 so keep watching the videos guys that's it with this video guys I hope you liked it please rate comment subscribe and visit techbarrick.com